Hello and welcome to this slide video from the Cornish Radio Amateur Club and this is part of the Foundation series and we're going to be looking today at receivers. Um, now the book by the RSGB, the excellent book, uh, Foundation Now, which you should all have if you're contemplating taking the examination, um, devotes just uh, one page or even half a page to receivers. So this video goes into it in a little bit more detail um, but uh, first of all I would suggest that you read and learn the facts on that page and refer to the syllabus. Um, as I said this video uh, goes into more detail than you absolutely need to learn for the exam and you should use it as background for general understanding. Now if you're looking at this video and you haven't looked at the um, video on transmitters I would suggest that you look at the transmitters video first as it covers some aspects of uh, modulation um, that are not covered in this one. So let's have a look at what the syllabus says. The syllabus says that we should use the simple or concept diagrams of the receiver and it says C table 2 and we'll be looking at that in a second. 4C1 says identify the items in a simple receiver block diagram and recall their order of interconnection and that order is antenna, feeder, radio tuning and RF amplification, detection demodulation, audio amplification and finally loudspeaker or headphones. And the syllabus goes on to say uh, or address the technical requirements of radio receivers. 4D1 says Recall that tuning of receiver is carried out in the first stages of the receiver. And 4D2 says, recall that detection, stroke demodulation, recovery of the original modulating signal, is carried out in the second stage of the block diagram, and that audio amplification is achieved in the third stage of a receiver. Let's look at the block diagram that they're talking about. And here we have an excerpt which is table 2 from the syllabus and it says there the block or concept diagram shown will be used for all assessment questions it is not intended that the blocks will relate to any particular architecture of radio merely the functions that need to be performed hence the title concept block diagram now you won't find many practical receivers following this block diagram this is a tuned to radio frequency, a TRF uh, receiver, um, and you can find them in the form of kits, self-built kits, um, and in a way it was the basis of the uh, crystal set of yesteryear. These days more modern receivers are either um, super het, super heterodyne receivers, or direct sampling receivers, and uh, these are um, quite different in their architecture. But if you understand the TRF receiver, it gives you a basis to understand the other architectures. So let's have a look at this block diagram. And this block diagram is all you need to know for the foundation examination. So let's put in the uh, labels within the blocks to make it easier to interpret. And now we'll have a drill down into uh, the blocks themselves. So uh, first of all, we'll have a look at the tuning and RF amplifier. And this is also called the front end because it's the front end of the receiver, the bit that's connected to the antenna. And what we have happening at the front end is that all of the frequencies that are being received by the antenna uh, will be passed to the front end, but at very low levels. And so the first block that we come up against is the triangle there, the amplifier. We don't need to know that symbol. And in fact, we don't need to know the inner workings of this block at all. But this is for understanding purposes. So the low levels then are boosted up a little bit. And then there's a tuned circuit, which is a variable filter. And the knob is rotated, adjusting the tuned circuit to select only the desired frequencies. In other words, we tune for the channel that we want. So when this is complete, then we have the desired frequency coming out of the front end. So 
So then we move on to detection, and it's otherwise called demodulation. The desired frequency, we will be receiving a modulated frequency, and there I have shown a, uh, an AM modulated wave. And as I said before, if you look at the transmitter's video, this will be clearer. Now the purpose of detection or demodulation is to recover only the AF signal, either the speech or the music, which is superimposed on the carrier. So some circuitry there, which we learn about in subsequent courses, takes off the uh, underlying uh, AF signal. But this is still at fairly low level. This underlying AF signal, uh, we've stripped away the carrier and just leaving the AF, is passed on to the next stage, which is the audio amplifier. And as you might expect, it has an amplifier in it, and this boosts the level of the audio from a very low level, which might only be audible in a crystal earpiece, up to a level that is able to drive the um, speaker to make uh, sound vibrations that we can listen to. So that's about it really for the concept block diagram of the receiver. Let's review the syllabus again and make sure we've covered everything. 4C, simple block or concept diagrams of a receiver, see table 2. Well, we've done that and we've looked actually at some of the functioning of the blocks themselves. Identify the items in a sim simple receiver block diagram and recall their order of interconnection. Many of the questions in the exam uh, will label two out of the three um, blocks and say, well, what is the third block? So the order was antenna, feeder, radio tuning and RF amplification, detection demodulation, audio amplification, and loudspeaker or headphones. So apart from the three square blocks, which we've tended to focus on, you also need to realize that there is an antenna and a feeder feeding the signal into the radio and a loudspeaker or headphones which is replaying the audio. So the technical requirements of radio receivers recall that tuning of receiver is carried out in the first stages of the receiver. So we said that there was a selective tune circuit in the front end. And by turning the tuning knob, you select only the signal that you want to listen to. 4D2 says, recall that detection or demodulation, and those two words are synonymous, um, or uh, they also mean recovery of the original modulating signal, the AF signal that came out of the microphone, if you like, in the transmitter, is carried out in the second stage of the block diagram, and that audio amplification is achieved in the third stage of a receiver. So that's it then for receivers. Let's look once again then at the concept or block diagram. There it is, the antenna going to a feeder, going to tuning and RF amplifier, so-called front end, going to detection, either called detection or demodulation, and that recovers the audio from the carrier and that small audio level being passed to an audio amplifier, which is then boosting the level so that it can drive a loudspeaker. And moving on beyond what we need to know, let's just make some notes about um, the various blocks. The RF amplifier stage dominates the noise performance of the receiver. So the better the quality of the first amplifier, the better the quality of the receiver in terms of its noise performance. Uh, the tune circuit in there is made up of inductors and capacitors. We don't need to know about inductors or, and capacitors at this stage, um, but the combination of inductors and capacitors create selectively tuned circuits. And we learn uh, a bit more about this in the intermediate course and a lot more about it in the advanced course. The detection circuits for decoding AM, and they've used another word here, decoding, they could say for demodulating, decoding, detection, they're sort of used interchangeably a bit. 
but detection circuits for decoding AM, FM, etc. are different. So an AM demodulator is different from that for an FM signal. So thank you very much for uh, your attention. In the next videos, we'll start to look at feeders and antennas.